Ever wonder what percentage of our population is financially literate? Yes, many people seem to make a lot of money each month. But in the true sense, they have nothing tangible to prove it. Because a lot of us fancy jobs have disguised our financial incompetence. This is a new way to tell the story. In today's video, Smart Simplified lists some places where anyone can get financial knowledge. They will always need it. Keep watching to see the unorthodox and orthodox places that we found. Number 1. We will begin by starting school. These are the most traditional places to find any knowledge. Schools are institutions. For centuries, they have provided a wealth of knowledge. Although many people didn't initially see it, they have continued to offer a wealth of knowledge for centuries. They are becoming more open to learning about financial literacy. Numerous schools offer financial courses. A quick search could help you find schools offering financial courses. Financial education is available in your area. One of the best things about taking a school-based financial education course is that you can learn a lot. You get direct guidance and interaction with a lecturer. Who can help you navigate? You will be guided through the entire journey one-on-one. -on -one. This type of source also offers a more structured approach. Learning opportunities, because they often start at points A to Z. You will need the money to pay for this course, but some institutions offer them free of charge. Number 2. Quotes by Russell Brunson. Once said, everything is guided by a framework. Wisdom and books. No surprise, books rank second on our list. There are many places where you can get financial education. This is possible if you are dedicated. To enjoy a financial journal, you must dedicate at least one to two hours daily. You have a better chance of learning something if you are consistent. Here's a list of the books that helped me get ahead in my financial journey. But I'll let the professionals do that. To find what you are looking for, use your search engine. Lists of financial books are recommended by academics, the wealthy, and even lecturers. However, there are some downsides. Suppose you choose to follow the books. A schedule is necessary. To determine if you are moving in the right direction, teach, test, and grade yourself. Number 3. Subscribe to newsletters. We can all agree that we have enough food to fill a whole basket. If you want. It would help if you eliminated all movie subscriptions to move forward in your financial life. Trade them in for better ones, such as financial newsletters. Because anyone can have them. A phone can create articles that give financial advice. You have to be keen. It all depends on who you listen to. Professionals in their field of expertise can give you the best advice. Some newsletters include articles and books that are free. This is a great way to get started. You're more open to changing and moving up in your education. The cons are that many hearsay writers claim to have no proof. You must have the proper credentials, so be alert. Number 4. Everything is possible in today's society. This platform makes it easy to sell, buy and teach. You'd be foolish not to use these channels. You could also use Instagram. Look for like-minded people. Some people have formed groups via WhatsApp, Messenger and Facebook, where they can share their financial knowledge. They have been so successful. Sources of financial education. YouTube is another excellent social media platform. YouTube is a great social media platform. Several financial YouTubers created an environment that anyone can access. To financial education. Personal finances, budgeting and investment, and business finances are all covered. YouTube is the best place to find what you are looking for. Like our channel, where we provide you with the best. Every day, you will find unique financial content. Number 5. Podcast. A merciful guru created podcasts because the internet gods were kind to us. Those who can't read a book in a single sitting will be eternally grateful. 
podcasts are an excellent option for those who work long hours. You can still lead an everyday life and have enough time to read a book. You can access the internet as long as there is an internet connection. You can learn anywhere you are, even between coffee breaks. My most excellent advice is to be flexible. It is essential not just to hear what the speaker says. You can't hear them through your earphones, but you will be able to listen to their words truly. Podcasts can be thought of as sessions with your therapist. You must be there to reap the benefits of all these sessions. Number 6. Financial knowledge is all around, but it's only for those willing to search for it. Magazines. Online publishers are more than just gossip and trends. They also get their information from the same sources. Financial education can help you become more educated. Keep in mind the importance of having financial education. Many people don't like bulking their finance books and prefer to learn from magazines. Although it might not seem obvious, books are far more resourceful than magazines regarding financial knowledge. But if they have the right financial magazines, they might be. It is vital. You can also walk around without bulky magazines or books. Learn a few things from online publishers. Other than Kiplinger, the Financial Times also has an online publisher. Many personal bloggers can provide valuable information. Number 7. One wise teacher said, If you want the best advice, ask for it from a wise person. I guarantee you will get 10 times more advice if you gather a group of wise people. Group forums are considered the best way to learn about financial matters. These forums offer a forum for sharing and acting on brilliant ideas. No matter how small or large the medium is. 10 people can benefit from the information shared in it by just one or two. Financially literate speakers it's like a book club. Each person can pick a book. Everyone is assigned to learn as much as possible about this topic. Once you are done, discuss what you have learned in a forum. Each person will be challenged to think outside of the box. This is a great way to teach children about money early on. This could be a great way to get your kids interested in finances. You can spice it up with a whole discussion or pricing model for financial capital assets, CAPM. Number 8. The Zen generation has made many changes, especially for children in the 80s or 90s. Like the internet, we can interact better and learn from each other. App startups have appeared on almost everything. They are like new robots. This means you can find a few apps in the Apple Store or Play Store. There are many financial education programs. You don't need to attend a class to learn. You can do this on your smartphone. You can download financial education apps like the Mint, Zoo or you will need a budget. After completing this task, you will be amazed at how easy it is to become a financial educator. Number 9 source of financial information, if not the one who prints currency. Financial knowledge is essential information. These could help you see the possibilities available to you. Savings and investments. Just walk into your bank or the bank that interests you. Visit the customer service desk. There you will find all the information you require. Be directed to a financial advisor. Banks are one of the most reliable sources of financial information. No matter your age, their essential requirement is that you are ready to do so. Take the first step. They'll then find the best person in their institution. You don't need to worry about losing your money if you don't mind being conned. All transactions are transparent. Number 10. Mentors. If you are still a believer in the old-fashioned way of learning your knowledge, You'd be foolish not to jump on the mentorship bandwagon. Mentorship is a relationship between you and your mentor. Finance should come from someone who has already taken the steps you want in your financial life. They have tried almost every trick and succeeded in testing them all. This is a valuable asset. It takes time and effort to build relationships. It would help if you also considered someone you have a positive interaction with. 
they can see your point of view from your perspective. Don't choose friends to be your mentors, as it is harder for them not to call you out when you're out of line. You'll be relying on it a lot. This will allow you to climb the financial ladder more quickly, without compromising your authenticity. They will help you stir the pot to move in the right direction and to reach the goal of financial freedom. Number 11. The best place to learn manners is at home. A home is the best place to grow roots. Parents are the best source of life lessons for children. Consider the most important essential life skills, such as brushing your teeth and learning the importance of saving money, are taught to you. These are the things your mother taught you. My mother did a great job making sure that I was a pleasant person, human to be around. Even my charms are hers. My father was the one who made me into who I am today. He was very similar to The Rich Father, in Robert Kiyosaki's book, The Rich Dad, Poor Dad. Because he was very young and opened up about his financial situation to us. The weekend before shooting we had to jump through some hoops at month's end. So we devised a monthly budget that we all worked around. He was open to discussing investments and savings, and he would show us how smart he was during vacations. Financial work pays off. Since I was 12, I don't think I have looked at money similarly. This is why family is, for me, the most significant source of financial education in one's life. I hope that you have learned something and are now ready to take on the challenge of growing your financial knowledge. Only 10 people can change the statistics about the world's financial literacy. I wish you would be the 1% who brings about these changes. If you are afraid. These are theories that have not been tested. I want to know the story of Warren Buffet's rise and fall. He was one of the wealthiest men in the world. Remember Robert Kiyosaki, a renowned figure, I believe. His family, specifically his father's, helped him to get ahead financially. These are not just miracles. These are tried and true methods that real people have used and worked to their advantage. We are grateful for your support. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel before you leave. Leave a like and a comment for the YouTube algorithm. This concludes the introduction. Have a wonderful day, and we'll see you all at the next one. English.